In this video I'm gonna turn a drawing into reality using my Photoshop skills. These are the episodes where I try to find the drawing on Google most of the time and I try to make it realistic using only Photoshop. For this video I found a really cute monster that is riding skull like a car. It is weird but it is cute. This monster kinda looks like the monster B, one I made like a few months ago. You should check it out if you haven't seen it. Before we start, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you like my overall content and now let's dive into the video. So first let's drop the picture, I don't want it to be really big. I found this 3D skull on Envato Elements, I'm just gonna choose the angle and drop it on the canvas. Now I'm gonna decrease the opacity and try to warp it as best as I can. I wanna match the shape, I know it's not the perfect skull for this one but I'll try my best. Let's move this up. Okay so it's good but it needs some work. So let's remove the bottom part first, I wanna make it separately. Let's fill this part because it looks nice. Let's drop the same skull, I wanna remove the nose because I'm gonna make nose separately. There we go, just using the lasso tool. Drop it on the nose, we don't need the top part for now, I'm just making the nose. Let's warp first and then I'm gonna add the liquify. Now let's add the liquify, I'm just gonna push the edges inside to make it smaller. Now let's return the top part and merge the edges as best as I can. It should be pretty seamless because it's from the same skull. Now let's duplicate the skull once again because I need to make the teeth. Remove the parts I don't need, there we go. Let's remove the bottom teeth. I'm removing with only brush because it's not that hard actually right now. Let's warp it to match the shape of the drawing. Now let's return everything and it looks actually very nice. Remove these harsh edges right here. Now I have to remove the top part so it looks like it's broken. There we go, just using brush, nothing special here. Let's decrease the opacity and add the shadow. I'm just gonna make it a bit darker. There we go. I think it's time to start making shape for the monster. I'm gonna make the bottom part first for the monster. I'm gonna sand it behind the skull, there we go. Now let's make the top part, there it looks nice. Now let's make the antennas, I'm just gonna duplicate the same one on the right side. For the eyes I found this sphere, I think it's gonna be perfect for the eyes. There we go, just duplicate same thing on the left side. And it looks cute already. Now I'm gonna add the ambient shadows on the wrinkles. Here I'm using only exposure for now. Now with another layer of exposure I'm gonna make the ambient shadows. This is where it starts to look kinda good. Let's make wrinkle under the eye. I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad. Probably bad. Let's make shadow behind the eye and I'm doing this on one take and it is really hard because I'm doing this with a mouse. Let's remove some of it. There we go. And it has some shape now. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing on the right eye. I'm doing this in one take looking like this. Same thing on the shadows. Same thing on the wrinkles for the bottom part, nothing special here. I'm just gonna do the wrinkles with exposure and then I'll add the ambient shadows. Now this shadow should be a bit darker. Now it still looks pretty bad so I'm gonna add the texture and hope that it will make it better. I'm gonna warp it to match the shape, there we go. I'm gonna clip it on the object. Now let's add shadows to the whole thing, there on the bottom part. And this should make it look a lot more realistic. Let's make it more green actually, I know I changed it three times but whatever. Let's add some more shadows inside, there we go. Now this actually looks really good. Some more shadows there. 
I think we're gonna survive, guys. There, now let's add a tiny bit of highlights to see where the light is coming from. And it is left side, by the way. There we go. Oh yeah, it is looking very cute and I love it. Their eyes need some work. Maybe a bit more shadows on the right side. I'm gonna use the liquify on the mouth because the texture is actually kind of straight and it should be warped right here. This should make it a bit better. Same thing on the edges. I don't know what am I doing here. It definitely looks better right now. Let's add some more wrinkles on the mouth. Now let's add some shadows on the hand to make it look like a hand. There we go. Just exposure. On the left hand, I painted like a normal brush and I actually don't know why. I thought that I was a Bob Ross or something for some reason. But in the end, it actually turned out to be really good. Like, I cannot believe this. Look. The left hand it looks better. I think I want to make some parts blue and I don't know why actually but I think it's gonna look pretty cool. Let's change antennas to be blue as well. For the flag I dropped the picture of a branch or whatever that is. I made flag red and I added the shadows. For the wheels I'm gonna use this 3D object from Envato Elements. I'm just gonna duplicate the same wheels everywhere. I'm just gonna distort it to change the shape. Same thing on the left side. I'm just gonna fill this part so it doesn't look the same inside. Let's add some shadows. The inside part should be really dark. And I connected them with a normal shape. Now I'm gonna add these blue things on its head. There we go. I'm just gonna paint it myself. I'm not gonna use the shapes for this. I'm gonna use the blend if. Let's make it blue and it looks amazing. I'm gonna make these hair strings here and there because drawing has it. Okay, we forgot something very special again. Same thing happened on the monster B and it is teeth. Let's add teeth using normal shapes. There we go. I'm just gonna make it white. And need some shadows on the right side, obviously. Some shadows on the top. Now I'm gonna add the shadows behind the teeth and there you go. Okay, and this looks a lot better. Now let's add the background. I want this to be kind of like a toy. So I'm gonna put it next to other toys. Let's add some blur. Now let's add some shadows so it looks like it's actually standing on the floor there. Just adding some exposure. Now let's add some more harsh shadows there. I'm just gonna paint it and then remove it from some parts. Let's remove it. I'm gonna add some more toys in the foreground, make it blurry and add some highlights. One more toy in the foreground. There we go, same thing, just make it blurry and add the highlights. Now final thing is to add the textures and I'm gonna add this texture on the teeth first. I'm gonna paint it here and there. Now let's add this crock texture on the skull. There we go, I'm just gonna adjust it with the levels and remove the edges. After that I added the camera roll filters, I probably changed everything there and this is the final result. I'm really happy with the final result. I think it turned out to be very cute and very realistic. And I really enjoyed making this, like I do in every other episode, because I love Photoshop. And if you liked watching this video and wanna see more videos like this in the future, definitely make sure to like and subscribe because it gives me so much motivation to continue. And finally, I really hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.